Welcome to Skim's webcast on adaptive choice-based conjoint. My name is David, and I will talk you through the conceptual basics of this exciting market research methodology. You can read along through the slides, or lay back and listen. In the next few minutes, I will tell you how adaptive choice-based conjoint, or ACBC, leads to a better understanding of consumer choices for your market research. Using ACBC ensures that marketing decisions are based on only meaningful and reliable information. The key is engaging interactive interviews that offer respondents only those alternatives which are relevant. Especially for complex markets like durables, telecom and finance, ACBC excels at using just the information that matters and keeping respondents' attention. To optimize an offer and drive demand, marketeers have to differentiate ever more within attributes. Using conventional techniques, this results too often in bland, complex market research, which leads to frustrating levels of noise and respondent fatigue. In essence, market research is the communication between suppliers and consumers. As translators in this process, it is up to research consultants to deal with the side effects of in-depth differentiation. ACBC keeps them from getting lost in translation and provides valuable insights for their clients. Market research is ever more conducted through the Internet. Especially online, respondents' span of interest is fairly limited. Ideally, the burden should be reduced while keeping the entire market in the research design. This requires a respondent-specific approach, which customizes the consideration set for each respondent and avoids poor offers. The purpose of an interactive interview, though, is not just to please respondents. If it were, the interview could easily move towards business-wise entirely unattractive parts of the market. Think high quality, low price. Therefore, supplier interests must also be considered. However interactive, the interview should exclusively focus on suitable products or services. An adaptive choice interview is a dynamic process that helps market researchers understand what consumers really prefer. The interview consists of a build-your-own section, a screening section and a relevant choice section. I will explain each section in more detail on the following slides. A centerpiece of ACBC is the build-your-own task in the first section of the interview. This task introduces the attributes and levels and asks the respondent to indicate a preferred level for each attribute while taking corresponding feature-dependent prices into account. The risk of undesirable outcomes is hence strongly reduced on the outset. Wherever the interview is heading from here, there will be a sound business case in the end. Ideal products are seldom for sale. The screening section therefore explores the acceptance of feasible alternatives and identifies an acceptable set of products or services. The respondent is not asked to make final choices, but to just indicate whether a product concept is considered a possibility or not a possibility. An attribute level that is systematically avoided or, on the contrary, systematically scored may indicate non-compensatory cut-off screening rules and hence an opportunity to narrow down the consideration set. In the tournament-styled choice section, respondents evaluate concepts which are close to their ideal build-your-own specified product, which they consider possibilities and which strictly conform to cut-off rules. Attributes that are tied across the concepts are typically the main product features. These are now left out, encouraging respondents to focus on the remaining differences and hence further discriminate on features of secondary importance. The winning concepts from each triple then compete in subsequent rounds until the preferred concept is identified. The interview can optionally be concluded by a calibration section. The respondent is then re-shown the concept identified in the build-your-own section, the concept that won the choice task tournament, and typically four others chosen from among both previously accepted and previously rejected concepts. On a standard five-point Likert scale, respondents indicate their likeliness to buy these concepts if they were available in the market. Once preferences have been collected, choice behavior is unraveled using a market simulator. 
market researchers play what-if games to benchmark today's current options against foreseen or desired scenarios, for instance, price reductions in a planned promotion campaign. Product or service compositions, and even entire portfolios, may be evaluated on the basis of such simulations. Choice behavior is not a constant. Decision drivers and hence preferences and choices vary over time, depending on personal and situational factors. Considering dynamic market profiles and choice patterns is key in understanding consumer behavior and marketing action. If you can determine why certain people make certain choices and relate these to a situation or a moment in time, you are well on your way to predict the market. SKIM has been a leader in advanced market research methodologies for over 30 years. Today, this vast experience enables us to deliver reliable and actionable consultancy that is tailored to helping you meet your business goals. To discover what SKIM can do for you, connect to the specialists in discrete choice measurement. Our contact details are on the next slide. If you wish to get a more detailed impression of an ACBC survey, please visit our website at www.skimgroup.com ACBC. It was a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for your attention. I look forward to hearing from you.